Insiders have bravely come forward in recent years to reveal the dark side of the entertainment business. One notable revelation comes from none other than Mel Gibson, who speaks out against alleged hidden agendas of powerful people like Oprah Winfrey. It is profoundly troubling that Sound of Freedom has garnered such a startling lack of attention. Sound of Freedom was initially backed by Disney, a renowned entertainment giant, but the company abruptly withdrew from the project, leaving many perplexed. Hollywood, known for its advocacy on social issues, appears to be purposefully turning a blind eye to a film that addresses one of the most urgent human rights concerns of our time. This silence raises suspicions that there may be more going on than meets the eye. The abrupt rejection without an explanation has sparked rumors and prompted inquiries about the impact of outside influences. The frightening truth of child trafficking a multi-billion dollar sector with broad international networks by putting light on the activities of traffickers and the terrifying predicament of their innocent victims. The film's depiction of this dark realm is more than just a work of fiction. It is a potent representation of the grim reality suffered by countless youngsters. With its in-depth storyline and gripping storytelling, Sound of Freedom serves as a compelling and urgent wake-up call to society. It goes into the complex web of human trafficking, exposing the startling truth and raising awareness of a global problem that needs our attention. Because of the film's brave examination of this urgent issue, we are reminded that we must all act to stop this horrific crime and guarantee the safety and well-being of all children. Mel Gibson's hints concerning a particular business, the mystery surrounding Sound of Freedom has been heightened by elates who are uneasy with the story, raising the issue of whether any powerful people in Hollywood feel threatened by the movie's revelations. The decision of major streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon to exclude Sound of Freedom is particularly puzzling as these platforms have previously featured documentaries and films on sensitive topics, making their reluctance to stream a movie of such significance even more suspicious. Gibson's previous comments about the industry suggest that powerful groups may have a vested interest in suppressing such narratives, raising even more eyebrows adding to the intrigue. To guarantee that the movie is seen by as many people as possible, social media campaigns, petitions, and public screenings have all been planned. With regard to Oprah Winfrey, who is frequently referred to as the queen of all media, we see a person who has created an empire based on her capacity to connect with audiences, share moving stories, and uplift countless lies. However, like many influential figures, her journey has not been without controversy and dubious associations. The public's unwavering determination to support this cause despite the controversies has been a source of hope and inspiration. Harvey Weinstein, a former Hollywood titan who experienced a spectacular fall from grace after numerous allegations of sexual misconduct came to light, is one such association that has drawn scrutiny. Oprah's public appearances and collaborations with Weinstein have drawn attention, with pictures of the two sharing warm moments at events circulating online. As the plot thickens and more details emerge, the public remains enthralled by the twists and turns in the world of Hollywood. It serves as a reminder that even those in positions of power and influence are not immune. This has led to speculation about the nature of their relationship and raised questions about whether Oprah, with her immense influence, may have turned a blind eye to Weinstein's alleged actions or even facilitated introductions between him and aspiring actresses. Oprah supports a dual tech Sarah DeFeria, better known as John of God, thrust him into the public eye on a global scale. The Oprah Winfrey Show portrayed Brazilian spiritual healer John of God as a miraculous healer who attracted thousands of people to his spiritual center in Abadiania. However, the show's portrayal of his supposed healing abilities crumbled when he was arrested and found guilty of numerous sexual assaults. 
with hundreds of women, including his own daughter, coming out and accusing him of impropriety. The John of God scandal was enormous. The initial support Oprah gave him has since drawn criticism because some people think she unintentionally gave a platform to a predator. The revelation of his crimes shattered people's trust in him and the spiritual community as a whole. Now that we've switched gears, let's look at another part of Oprah's legacy. The Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. The Academy was founded with the noble intention of giving underprivileged girls a quality education and giving them a chance to escape the cycle of poverty. However, within a year of its founding, the Academy was shaken by allegations of abuse by some staff members. A dormitory matron was accused and later charged with abusing several students, shocking both the Academy and the public. Oprah immediately took action by firing the accused staff member. Despite the best intentions and efforts, the incident not only damaged the reputation of the Academy, but also brought to light the difficulties in providing a secure and nurturing environment for the children. The acclaim and controversy surrounding actor and director Mel Gibson, who is known for his outspoken personality and propensity to challenge the existing quo, have left their impact on Oprah's path in the entertainment world. Gibson has carved out a distinctive path for himself in Hollywood that distinguishes him from the pack Hollywood, for all of its glitz and glamour, is also renowned for its complex web of power dynamics. Outside of the spotlights of the red carpets is a world where influence is money and a small group controls the narrative. Throughout his career, Gibson has repeatedly made allusions to these power structures, implying the existence of shadowy powers that are influencing the industry. Gibson has taken on roles and projects that challenge conventional wisdom in Hollywood. His movie, The Passion of the Christ, which depicted the final hours of Jesus Christ's life, is a prime example. Despite facing harsh criticism and accusations of anti-Semitism, the movie became a box office success demonstrating Gibson's ability to take on the industry's gatekeepers and succeed. Gibson chooses to shine a cutting light on this delicate issue while bravely delving into the dark and terrible realm of child trafficking, a subject that many in Hollywood would prefer to keep concealed beneath the glitz and glamour. Gibson fearlessly challenges anyone who could be engaged in such horrific actions in addition to making a potent cinematic statement, Gibson encountered tremendous resistance from individuals in positions of authority within the industry, which is further highlighted by the film's relentless effort to find a distribution outlet. This is evidence of his unwavering commitment to bringing this subject to the fore and exposing the terrible truth that lies Gibson's charges and the subjects he bravely investigates in his movies have a significant rippling effect beneath the surface. Actors, producers, and crew members, empowered by Gibson's unwavering courage, are starting to shed their own light on the experiences of exploitation, manipulation, and secrecy that plague the industry. In conclusion, Sound of Freedom serves as a stark and unflinching reminder of the harsh realities that surround the entertainment industry.